Of all the injury areas that we saw that hit this team in 2011, the one that got the most attention and notoriety, obviously, is your starting quarterback and Dak Prescott. But close behind it should have been an offensive line that was ravaged by injuries. Talking about losing all pro Tyron Smith, Travis Frederick had retired. Elsie Lyle Collins was out for the season. Uh, they all had issues and some uh, – Zach Martin had his own issues, but he appeared to be 100% before this COVID situation. Now they're dealing with a situation where Lyle Collins is supposedly healthy, but Clarence, I've got to tell you, of all this Zach Martin thing just came out of left field. Lyle Collins' injury situation does not appear to be something that you can trust. They sound like he's going to play on Thursday night, but Clarence, do you trust that this is a guy who's going to be able to hold up and be reliable for a full 17 game set, uh, regular season well, schedule? And that's the question. And, you know, you know, that's my thing about, you know, I, I wouldn't rush Zach Martin. This is a long season, you know, and I wouldn't put everything in game one. I don't think they're going to win game one if Zach Martin was there. But uh, just talking to the Cowboys today, and again, this is Dr. McCarthy today. Uh, on, <laughs> Everybody's uh, a doctor. Tuesday. Everybody's a doctor. Dr. McCarthy, too, they said, Lyle Collins has practiced well the past two games. That had past two days, he's had no issues with the stingers. He said he's been cleared from the stingers. That's not a problem. It won't be a situation where you're playing through pain. Of course, Jerry Jones says it's all about pain threshold. If he can last and play through the, uh, play through the pain, he'll be fine. I don't know who to believe. The bottom line is stingers, just, they just don't go away. I mean, there's something in your neck that's causing this stuff, and they just don't go away. So it's something to monitor. Uh, you're right. If there's any concern about this Cowboys offense, it's not Dak Prescott, it's not Ezekiel Elliott, it's not the receivers who's going to get most most of the balls, whether it's, you know, C.D. Lamb or Mark Cooper. It's the health of this offensive line. The, everything starts up front for the Cowboys. They need this offensive line to be healthy. They won't have Zach Martin to go in against Adamican Zoo and V to V Thursday night. They're going to have a questionable layout Collins. All I say is run left. Don't run right. Dak, run left. Don't run right. That right side – is going to have issues. Tyron Smith is obviously left. Left Clarence, tackle. Left and, and tackle. And Connor Williams. Rick and Connor Williams. Connor Williams, Williams also pride of the forward. University of Texas. That's right. Clarence, what's the interior of this line look like? Because it wasn't that long ago. Now, I know NFL years should be measured in dog years, but it wasn't that long ago the Cowboys had the best offensive line in the NFL. Well, they don't now. Tyron Smith is a guy who's coming off of an ACL. He'd been battling back issues before then, but – Looked like still a very, very good player. Maybe not the player who was four or five years ago, but a good player. Hang on. Then they had Travis Frederick, an all-pro uh, center, retires for health reasons uh, before he turns 30. Not, a, not something that they were expecting. Then they were moving around Connor Williams to play at center, even though in college he was a tackle. So what we know what the tackles look like, even though that's not ideal because of a, a Lyle Collins Stinger situation. Now you don't have Zach Martin. So what's, at least on Thursday night, what is that interior line going to look like? Well, that, that's the question. You know, Tyler Biad is the center, second year starter center. Uh, Connor McGovern is going to play right guard. He got some good reps last year. He started eight games at guard last year and got better as the season goes it went on. And certainly Connor Williams is going to be your left guard. Uh, so that's the question. It's the middle of that line that, that you're worried about. Because, again, I brought up a Tom Consu, you know, the, the, the former Nebraska behemoth that, you, that threw Colt McCoy around like a rag doll at the NC Stadium. <laughs> You remember, and he likes to step on people. You don't want him stepping on Dak Prescott. So they have to do some things. I think the Cowboys will scheme, uh, get the ball out quick. They're not going to have Dak hold the ball. They're going to get the ball out quick, certainly run around, certainly uh, use the running game, use the edges to, to, to run the ball rather than up the middle to compensate that. But, yes, this offensive line, when healthy, is still among the best in the league because of Zach and Lyle and Tyron Smith, not because of the guys in the interior, but they need, need those guys to be healthy. There was a game in Cincinnati last season. And to ask this one last question before we move on to another subject. There was a game last season in Cincinnati where the Cowboys had the ball inside the Bengals' 10-yard line, and they were not going to Zeke Elliott because he couldn't get the yardage. I went ahead and wrote, they don't trust that he can get that yard. Now, apparently, some members of his family weren't too happy with that opinion. Your opinion was it didn't have anything to do with Zeke. It had more to do with the fact that they didn't trust that offensive line. Do you think on Thursday night, given the matchups that we're going to see, Will they trust that offensive line to give the ball to Zeke if it's third and one or fourth and one? Are they going to have to get creative and overthink it? Oh, I think they're going to do what's best for the team. I mean, let me be political. That doesn't answer the question. Yes, because, because listen to me, sir. Listen, it's, you're thinking of one-yard plunge. They can get the ball to Zeke on the edge. 
I mean, I, I think they're going to scheme it, and, and, and certainly they're going to call the play to their advantage. They're not going to run into a mismatch. So if that's what you're saying, they're not going to run into a Domicon Sue on third and one. It doesn't mean they don't trust No, things. it doesn't mean that they're I mean, not I think run. they will do some things on the edges okay. to, to take advantage of those mismatches. Okay, you're a confident man, and it never ceases to be a blade. I didn't say it, it was going to be successful. <laughs> I just said what they, the strategy was. Okay, be. We're talking speaking about strategy. of strategy.